Uh, let's see, the film came about from uh, both a practical place and a personal place. Uh, on a practical level, I needed to make a movie that I knew I could make, meaning I couldn't wait 10 years for financing my next film. I couldn't wait on lining up the perfect, um, you know, financeable giant $10 million cast and the $10 million. I needed to make something where I knew I could get the resources in. I, I didn't know I'd get this great cast, but I hoped I would if I kept it short and sweet and close to New York City and, and wrote something they might love. I hoped I could sucker some good people into <laughs> being a part of it. And um, yeah, my husband shot the film. Um, you know, we own the camera we shot on. Um, my kids came and helped out. Um, Two very, you know, three very dear friends of mine produced the film with me. Uh, so there's a lot of my home, you know, my actual life in this film. It's not autobiographical, but it was created out of stuff that I've accumulated. That's the thing. You, you, you live a little while, you, you accumulate stuff and people. And um, this was a great way to sort of build on it. And I know, okay, I have that much. And so then I went out and I found the, the cash that we needed to do it, and we did it. Miracle of miracles, we did it. We just did it. We said, here's where we're shooting. I had a sabbatical, I'm a teacher at Columbia. I had a sabbatical, meaning a semester off. You get one every seven years. And I was like, that's kind of when I want to shoot because I want to be awake when we shoot. And I can't teach and shoot at the same time. So we did it. Uh, that was the practical side. The personal side was, um, you know, I'm over 50 and, and that's actually been kind of fantastic except for all the, you know, getting tired um, stuff faster. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I was thinking a lot about love and how love is not always about getting the girl, boy, whatever. Uh, a big part of, you know, being a human being and a human with love in your life is to be able to let people go. And that you can actually let people go and still love them and still have love in your life. And that sounds really corny and cheesy. The movie really doesn't try and revel in it. But that was a starting place, was how can I make a film about loss that is not, um, that doesn't usually cater to the narrative of, oh, you have to fully get somebody new um, to be complete after you go through some form of, not death, there's actually not death in this film uh, as loss, but when you go through the other forms of loss, kids going away, marriages ending, changing, etc. Um, <clears throat> I think that I was, uh, um, I was attracted to the, the film for a couple of reasons. One was uh, that Tali was going to do it, and I really wanted to work with her um, for a long time, so that really kind of was uh, something that drew me to it. But the other part was that um, I really felt that after reading it, it was about people making choices um, and that they're not... Uh, that we, as human beings, we make choices that end up being mistakes, but you don't really recognize them as mistakes. Um, you just live life, and uh, at the end of your life, there's kind of, a, it's basically a series of mistakes that you've made as opposed to anything else, um, and you've enjoyed some of them, and, and you've regretted some of them, um, but all in all, it's just a life. And um, that was really beautiful to me, so I really was, I, I wanted to play a character that um, had... Uh, made those kinds of choices and uh, affected others and himself in the process. Uh, but in the end, um, they there's something okay about it. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I think it was just the experience of filming with all of these wonderful actors was um, enabled by like the the... How, how great it was to film was enabled by how Hillary kept us all so close to each other. And we shot the film, we lived in one house and shot in another, and that made us really close. And there was this sense of intimacy that could be, that was very palpable when we shot. And that I think is very much reflected in the film. So I'm, I'm just very overwhelmed still by having seen it. And I'm very happy that it's uh, such a moving and, and a, such a personal film on so many levels. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, so when we shot this, I just graduated. Um, so 
I mean, for me personally, there's this, you know, I, you go through all these periods in life where you have some sort of built-in community or home. So to me, that had become home, and I, I was coming out of that, and then coming into this was that. And I also think that, you know, touches on what the film really is about is, um, you know, it, the, so the line is, home is where the heart breaks. Um, and just coming, you know, when those, when you have that and it, and it, it leaves you or it disappears and then how does that come back together and in what form does that come back together because it's always going to come back together in some form or another you're always going to have the next home or family um, and so that's kind of what I connected to in it um, especially at that period so um, I, I, I didn't shoot and live in the house with all of them I'm kind of like the remote cast member but a film with so much real change and transition and coming of age on so many levels of people going from one stage of their lives to another every single character goes through that and just seeing the film and and also um, feeling that and going through that in my real life and seeing how it's a part of the film was really very special to me because I feel like yes my character is is going through a rite of passage but also I personally went through that as well and it's just so cool to see how um, how life reflects art uh, on so many levels in this film both personally for everybody but also as artists. Yeah, she shared her pregnancy with us and gave birth her film is there is a childbirth in the film and it is real and she shared that with us um, via <laughs> via Skype <laughs> and on film so um, it, it's interesting technology actually even though this is an incredibly rural film set in a little house that's sort of perched on the side of a mountain. Um, there, there actually is an angle in the film about technology and the sort of connective tissue of how it connects them with the things that they do outside um, in that case. And I'd also mention, yeah, it's a, it's a family house that we shot in, so there's a lot of history there. Um, and it was an enormous, very, very tiny crew. So, you know, I think if you walked by, you might think this is a small student film or an exercise. You know, it, it doesn't didn't have a lot of the weight that a real production does um, or a larger production does. And that that was helpful in this particular instance. We shot with natural light pretty much, um, you know, a little bit of augmentation. So that meant we were shooting quickly. You know, there's no video village in this production. We're shooting fast. We're literally catching the light. We know that the scene will work in this part of the house <laughs> for two hours, so we shoot it. <laughs> and um, you know, that also feeds into the aesthetic, the, into the feeling of the film. You work with somebody that has such wisdom from life itself. Um, obviously, you don't really know this when you're working with somebody. You just meet somebody, like, oh, they're wise. But as you see it. And I think this was so kind of uh, what Isis just said, that it is a, it is a coming of age story for everybody. It's yeah. like for every stage of everybody's life, it's their coming of age. And it's that's kind of remarkable that people past middle age or in middle age are coming of age. Young people are coming of age. It's like we all do it at different points in our life. And that's really kind of uh, that was beautiful. I think I kind of wrote for this little house, it's my mom's house, um, and um, you know, part of it is very pragmatic. It ha it's a small house that opens to like all four points of the compass so you can get light at different times. And it's got this yard that's sort of overgrown and it really is sort of perched on the side of a mountain. So you feel the mountain even though it's a house, you know, and just a little house with a little yard. And I, I thought, a big challenge for me was to hold people's attention for 90 minutes in a house. And I knew I couldn't do that if we didn't really shoot out the whole house and have some time pass and have things change. Um, and I think uh, that that was all intrinsic in the wildness of it, I think was important, that this is a family, but that there's a wilderness and there's a, a natural life force going on around it. Um, I, I think as I get older, I, I think I used to sort of look at landscape as an accessory to or a, a design element. Mm -hmm. And now more and more I look at the natural world as something that we're part of, which may sound a little hippy dippy, but what I really mean is, no, we're part of a larger fabric. We're part of, you know, the hills and val valleys, the water, the land. It's all going to be there long before. So that actually changes the way I frame things up. 
and think about things in a rather subtle way. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of landscape in this film, literally, there's shots of landscape. And this was another benefit of low budget production and being married to your cinematographer. You'd be like, honey, I really wanna go, can we shoot some second unit? And you're like, ah, okay. And we'd all go up and the kids would tramp, you know, they tramped up to the top of the mountain to get the shot of the mountain. They're like, it's really freaking cold. And I'm like, I know, but isn't this great? And they're like, no. Uh, but nonetheless, we could do that. Again, on a larger budget traditional film, I don't know, you don't have that that ability to just say oh it's important to shoot the landscape at this time at this place um, and I, I think it gives the film a lot it's amazing you you really you really should see it like it's easy to think it's like oh it's just one of those independent films at the film festival there are a lot of them and you know it's probably like everyone else but I can say like I've heard parts of this movie for two years from the living room and if I'm not sick of it by now you you should see it like I saw the whole thing and I was just like I could not believe what it was and I think everyone should definitely see it it's amazing and beautiful and everyone is amazing so if you don't you're 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 missing out yeah.